Alright guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I'm here with my commander, Cobra Commander, and since you last saw me, I've made quite a bit of money on this particular account. Not a significant amount, but I'm now sitting on around about 12 million. Now I made that by getting involved with selling the precious gems that are available during one of the previous community goals during the Dangerous Games. Talking of community goals, I'm heading out here to try and make a bit more money still. Unfortunately, right off the bat, I got interdicted as soon as I jumped into this particular system. Now, like many of you, I don't really know how this happens. It seems that sometimes the NPCs are a little bit magical. Hit the exclusion zone of this star, and, well, it was time to try and get away without taking too much heat damage. Like I say, I don't quite know how these NPCs manage to do this. They seem to appear right behind you the instant you jump into this system. Now the reason it come after me is because I've got a bounty on my head. The bounty is around about 1.7 million and I think I got it when I was hauling those precious gems. They're illegal cargo in a lot of places because they were stolen and I got scanned while carrying them. Carrying 32 tons of them and that got me hit with a pretty significant fine. I know during that event people were uh, hauling those precious gems in anacondas and cutters and getting fines of around about 100 million. But it's not too much of a problem if you're not heading back to that particular system again, especially once the bounty has gone dormant. But for now, I'm still a little bit of a target. But at any rate, I've come here to Carthag to get involved in this particular community goal. Now this is for the Empire. The Imperials want to build a few more of their capital class majestic ships. And the community goal has been set up to haul the goods needed to have them constructed. Before we do that though, just have a look at the uh, Jack Station community gold here. You can see it's only just hit tier 1. It's going to go on for a month. It's going to take quite a while to get anywhere good with that. But on these community golds, you can see that the rewards are actually quite high already. And now, unfortunately, this community gold is coming to an end very, very soon. I recorded this video on Wednesday, and you're watching it on Thursday, which is the day that this community gold is going to complete. We're going to see what tier I can actually hit just by doing a few hauls. Now for some of you, you may well be fully aware of what commodities are sold in which particular station and you can use the galaxy map to try and get a bit of an idea for that. Unfortunately though, I don't always use those tools nowadays because they're not always quite as accurate as I would like them to be. So I went to the website eddb.io and had a look which was the nearest station that had a good stock of auto fabricators. It's actually a fantastic website that will tell you the stock of commodities at various markets. It'll also let you know which stations are selling which modules and which ship types, as well as many other things. A new element added to that particular website is materials for planetary bodies as well. So if you're looking for a specific material, you can look at that website and find out which planet it should be on. Now, with my setup on this Cobra, I can carry 32 tonnes. Not a significant amount but a good step up of what I could carry with my Sidewinder. And like I've said before, I plan on staying in this Cobra for a significant amount of time. Hopefully, this 32 tons is enough to at least get me into the first tier, which I think was a 300,000 credit reward. Not significant, but not too bad either. Karthag, the planet there, is quite a pretty looking Earth-like planet. And you saw some rather stunning looking shots of this system star, which is a blue-white star and actually looks quite gorgeous against some of the backdrops there. So selling the commodities here, selling the auto fabricators, should give me a little bit of profit, not much, but something. But the main bulk of the profit is gonna come from the community gold itself. And let's have a look, what is it? And surprisingly, I'm in the top 75% straight away. A nice five million reward for a single haul. So, precisely because it seems so rewarding, I decided to come here with my other account, Commander Obsidian Ant, in my Type 9. This can carry over 400 tons, so it's going to be interesting to see what tier this will get me into. So, even if you're new to the game, or even if you've been playing quite a while, community goals are one way of making quite a bit of money quite fast, with minimal effort, and it's something I highly recommend that people try out. As you saw, even with a Cobra, you can make a huge amount of money in short order. So here we go. A nice profit there just for the transfer of the commodities itself. And we'll see what tier that puts me into on this community goal. 
and you can see I'm in the top 50%, a nice round of 10 million. It's unlikely at this point we'll hit another tier, but that is still a pretty good reward, and I'm going to go do a few more hauls. A bit of a short video today, but don't worry, I'll be back soon with some more videos. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.